Let us now see how do you calculate interest on capital where you are not given the opening balance, right? But the closing balance and the drawings during the year as well as the share of profit of the partner are given. Let's read this question first. From the following details of A, who is a partner in a firm ABC, compute the interest on capital at the rate of 15% per annum. So your rate is equal to 15% per annum. Assuming there was no additional capital introduced during the year and the drawings were made on the last day of the financial year. Right? So the particular givens are 1. Closing capital of 2 lakh. 2. Drawings made during the year 50,000. 3. Share of profit. Now before we get into the actual solving of this problem, let's step back a little. You know, you have these flashback in the movies. Just think you are dealing with an actual life case. This is the start of the financial year and this is the close of the financial year. Right? What do you have in the start of the financial year? You have opening capital. As the year moves, the firm keeps on earning the profits and everything. Right? Towards the end, there is a profit which is there, which goes and adds to the capital of the partner. Right? If the partner has taken out some money, that results in reduction of this capital. So we reduce drawings from this. And once we do these two operations, we get the closing amount of capital. Right? In your case, what is happening is you are given about this closing capital. Let me use a different color for this. This is okay. This is not seem to be. Well, neither of them seem to be good. Let me just replace them. Okay. You are given the closing capital as 2 lakh. You are given the drawings made during the year as 50,000. Right? You are given that the profit share is 50,000 again. But you do not know what is the opening capital. Right? Now, you have to compute interest on capital at the rate of 15% per annum. And you're told there is no additional capital which is introduced during the year, which means that the entire balance, which is this opening balance, let's call this as X, is the balance which is there. And you have to calculate interest on this at the rate of 15% per annum. Right? Now, how do you calculate this X? It's very simple. I've already given you the complete answer. So we know that X plus profit during the year 50,000 minus drawings made during the year is equal to 2 lakh. Why? Because there is no additional capital introduced during the year. So the entire share capital is X. Right? 50,000 minus 50,000 gives you 0 which means that X is equal to 2 lakh. Interestingly, the opening capital is equal to the closing capital or in other words, opening capital is equal to X is equal to 2 lakh. Now your interest is to be calculated on the opening capital because this is opening capital. So you're using it for 12 months. Obviously, the rate of interest, you know, is 15%. So your interest is going to be what is principal or the capital in this case into rate of interest 15% per annum into time is 12 months so 12 converted into year divided by 12 again for percent we need to divide this by 100 this goes this goes 1 2 1 2 15 into 2000 gives you 30,000 right so the interest on capital is going to be 30,000 isn't it simple? The only thing you needed to know was how did the process work? In this case, there was nothing in terms of additional capital introduced. But let's say, for example, in some question, you also get the additional capital number. Then what you need to do is you need to know the date when this capital is introduced, right? 
If you know this, then basically again you need to see opening capital will add this additional capital, right? Or in other words, one more variable will be added over here in terms of the additional capital, right? But you can easily find that out if the number is given to you, right? Once that number is given to you, you can easily calculate the opening capital. On opening capital, obviously just like this case, you calculate it for 12 months. For additional capital, if you know the date, you use the data to find out how much was the period for which this was used to find out interest on that, right? With that, we come to the end of this uh, particular video. I hope you had a good time understanding this. If not, please do give your feedback and we'll try to solve it out in the next one. If you want, you can visit our website iitubook.com for more than 1500 videos on various subjects, right? Your feedbacks are more than important. To stay updated about us, you can subscribe our YouTube channel and you can also join our website today, right? Thank you very much for being with us today.